I mean, like, that's how to do it, isn't it? Yeah, but it's always uh, difficult because you have the right uh, moment to put the throttle, but you don't have to be too fast, otherwise the race control will penalize you. Ah. So it's always uh, quite difficult. Now we start to, to, yes, to get on gas for the last corner and to get ready for the, the top speed. And if you make that, it will be less. It will be only one lap because, oh, one car is stopped. I don't know why. Now it has a good start. So uh, Philippe Pret then and Hulin Han, it's the P1 and P2 drivers that have left the rest behind then. Uh, Zen Lowe in uh, P3, Angelo Negro P4, then it's Tadakazu Kojima, a shell driver, ahead of uh, Fujiwira. And look at this. Some confusion here. I well, think they were stuck behind the yeah. car. Look, I mean, uh, it's not finished. Huh? No, it isn't. 39 looks to have a good... Uh, Good read, he's right there, but we should be easy for uh, Pratt uh, to, to close the door. <laughs> you can almost see Philip Pratt, he's driving using the rearview mirror, thinking where do I need to put the car? No, I, I think he cannot wait to, uh, to be on the last corner right now. <laughs> uh, so Philip Pratt then leading from Hewlin Hand, but Hewlin Hand, this is his last opportunity to get by the Philip Pratt car, and he really is uh, pressuring uh, Philip Pratt. Philip Pratt, as I said earlier in the, uh, earlier in the program, He's not a driver renowned for making mistakes, and that's why he is the Trofeo Pirelli Pro Champion for Asia Pacific. Uh, he knows all about uh, banking points and winning races, and he certainly will not want to lose this race on the uh, last lap or thereabouts. But Hulin Han is pushing for all he is worth, and uh, that's what he needs, just to provoke a small error from uh, Philippe Pret, and that would be enough for him to seize the opportunity and go through. He's flashing his lights like you would not believe and Philippe Pret does run wide does that offer up an opportunity for Hewlin Han shuts the door Olivia he uh, he nearly got through then yeah he did a little mistake at the entrance so he went a little large but um, it's always difficult to follow a car because you lose downforce on the front so. sure the only oh he did a wow, wow, wow. Well, all the way around the outside no, there is going to be hard. No, 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 no. But uh, what a race. It's cool. It's always nice to restart the race at the end. But uh, We're going to have one more lap, aren't we? No, I, no. Yes. yes. 18 seconds, we had one more lap. Yes. So yes. this now will be the final lap. So Philip Brett has got to try and hold on for another lap. Here comes Hulin Hand looking for the inside line. The inside line is blocked off by Philip Pret. Hulin Hand goes to the outside, hopes to sell a dummy to Philip Pret and lets him go wide, but he doesn't. He t hugs the inside of the corner. So uh, Hulin Hand all over the back of Philip Pret here as the final race honors in the uh, season for the uh, Ferrari Challenge Asia Pacific. This battle between two pro drivers as out goes the uh, 224 car and that's a great shame uh, go max who was uh, very very good yesterday is out final lap then i think he will not affect the final race because uh, he was turn one so the car sure. should be on the checker flag soon and uh, restart is under investigation we can see but uh, at the moment, Philippe Pret is able to show a clean pair of heels to Hulin Han, who, as Olivia Beretta alongside me has said, is running in the dirty air that's coming off the back of the uh, Philippe Pret car, which makes it really, really difficult. But he is pushing him for all he's worth. Yeah, but right now in this kind of corner, you cannot overtake easy because sure. you cannot stay behind the car, especially in Arabiata. You lose downforce on the front, so. I think if he does not do the mistake on the last SS before the, the last corner, it should be fine. So we think that Philippe Pret has probably done enough. A little gap, and now he's, uh, I think that the race will uh, end up like this, because now you are on the SS. Yeah. It's pretty much smooth and uh, distance, so it's impossible to... At least he missed the, the breaking point on the last corner, but... Uh, it's not his first race, it should be, uh, should be okay now. Battle for P3 then is between Zen Lo and Angelo Negro. And uh, Angelo Negro around the outside of uh, Zen Lo, but as we head towards the timing line, it is going to be Philippe Pratt that uh, will take the checkered flag. He was pushed all the way uh, by Hulin Han then, who takes uh, P2. And as they sp sprint towards the timing line, it is Lowe that finishes ahead of Negro, then it's uh, Kojima. Fujiwara has done enough to win the uh, uh, championship then in his category. Then it was Zing and King and Wu and uh, Martin Berry, who, I mean, that's incredible. To finish in the race, P10 overall, driving last year's 458 Evo car, Olivia. Well, it's pretty much impressive because the new uh, 488 is much weaker, much faster, so pretty good talent here. And uh, for sure he has uh, done a good job with his mechanic and engineer to uh, 
of uh, the right setup and it's pretty much uh, it's always nice you know they can use the old car so yes. they can uh, they can stay in uh, in the races and uh, maybe next year is we switch with the new car and which uh, is generally what happens isn't it that we uh, get an all 488 grid and Oh, and we ain't all over yet. Look, as they're side by side, that's almost a photo finish then as they cross the timing line. Absolutely nice. extraordinary racing that we've seen from the Ferrari Challenge Asia Pacific. And the season now is done and dusted with the exception of the uh, world final races tomorrow. So Ken Sato clinches the AM title with P4 in class. A brilliant drive.